Hey guys, Rob J here, and today we're looking at Mimica rubra, or commonly known as the European fire ant. And they can be found all over Europe and in some parts of North America and Asia. They are mainly red in colour with a slightly darker pigmentation on their head. The ants live in the wild on the stones, fallen trees and in soil. They are an aggressive ant, often attacking rather than running away, and are equipped with a sting, though lack the ability to spray formic acid like the genus Formica. Their colonies have a polygyne form and can also have up to 100 queens per nest. But as the queen is only marginally larger than a worker, it can prove difficult to work out which one she is. Now she can measure between 5 and 7.5 millimeters and her workers 4 to 6 millimeters. They can be kept at room temperature when kept in captivity. Now for a little bit about their diet. So the common fire ant will accept insects as the general intake but can be given sugar water or honey as a sugary supplement to their diet. Regular protein for the development of the brood should also be given in the form of live or dead insects or as cooked meats such as chicken. It is generally said that giving live food to small colonies of ants is not the wisest of moves because they're unlikely to be able to kill it and you're also risking introducing mites. Okay, and now a little about the formicarium, or housing your fire ants. So when it comes to choosing a formicarium for your ants, you need to take into account that they need to be well hydrated, and humidity needs to be high too. So the best nests for this are going to be the white tongue nests, or an acrylic nest. Okay guys, just to wrap up, I'm going to put a little bit of my own opinion and experience since I've had my young colony of fire ants in. So yes, they can sting and it can be quite painful, but I haven't been stung yet and I've had mine nearly five months now. Now, yes they can sting, but on the other hand, they're meant to be known for being quite aggressive. And yes, against insects or anything like that, they do seem to be a very aggressive ant, but they seem to totally ignore my intrusion unless at an excessive level of disturbing the nest. Even workers in the outworld seem to totally ignore my presence and if anything return to the nest. So with this said, my experience with the fire ants has been a very pleasant one. They're a very nice ant to watch, they've got a great active lifestyle, they are really got a little character of their own compared to other species and generally I would have to recommend them for beginners even with the sting taken into account. I would say they're an excellent beginner ant. Um, some little tips that I can give you um, they do have to be hydrated a lot so make sure that you're hydrating these more than say your other ants so make sure their sponge is always damp and they like to be in the dark so covering them with some sort of red acrylic would be ideal for these ants as long as you give them abundant amount of protein, insects and sugary food sources or water, these ants will thrive for you. Thanks a lot for watching Great Beginner Ant Series and I hope you catch the next episode.